Hello guys and welcome back to episode 60 of the Iron Man Collection Law Completionist. I figured I would start this one in front of this Karam 1 fishing spot while I can because I just uploaded the last episode and I am still kind of in disbelief that I actually managed to snag that eternal glory and managed to push myself over the 900 unique items mark as you can see. But um, yeah, so in the previous episode we only managed to get 5 items, but those 5 items were pretty solid items and in between those 5 items I managed to green lock 2 new sections of the log, them being Soul Wars and Scorpia boss log, and yeah, but now I guess the work towards the 1000 collection log slots starts because once we do get 1k I guess we can call ourselves a collection logger because up until that amount we are basically just a noob which we obviously still are. Anyways, there is my full inventory of Karamban, so I guess this means I should bank. For now, I honestly, I think I will just continue doing Wilderness Slayer because that is one of my active goals still. And I think I want to finally start and learn some solo cocks because honestly, I think it's time I get that Dax finish of God Wars and who knows, maybe snag some other uniques from Chambers of Zeric. So that is that for now. I don't know if I will start soloing Chambers this episode, but I will at least attempt to try. Back with Will Be Slayer and there we go. That's another combat task completed. This one was for... Elemental not hitting me at all, so took out my Verox and gave it an attempt and got it first try anyway. So uh, yeah, still have 29 more on the task, so let's switch the gear quickly and finish off this task. And this shall be 25 KC as well as the last combat achievement task for this boss, Chaos Elemental Veteran. Okay, I guess it's time to knock out the remaining 20 and never do this boss ever again. Hey, look at this, that's a dragon sword. I don't think I've got one from Chaos Elemental, but that's my second dragon sword, or not sword, two-handed sword ever. I only got one from Calphite Queen, so, and I have like 1k KC, so that's something, I guess. But uh, yeah, I only have eight kills left on the task. Oh, nice, I just completed the Revenant's task, and this was my 50th Wildy task. I got a solid 375 point payout. I mean, these points are gonna stack up so nice that after I'm done with Wildy Slayer, I will be able to cancel tasks right and left for my Koner and Duradil grinds remaining. It feels like I haven't done any Zelcano in like a really long time even though it's been like a couple episodes i assume but um yeah there is 750 kc i usually don't record 50 kc milestones but this is actually the kind of the drop rate for the Zalcano shard and since uh since i'm gonna remind you guys that i haven't yet gotten anything from this boss at this kc so i can totally see the Zelcano shot being my first and probably soon drop that would happen. Also, I am with this KC now one of the third way out on the drop rate for the pet. So that's nice too, I guess, right? I'm doing some more Wilderness Lair and that's an Alaron ski on the ground. But this is number 25 again, so I am gonna finish off this task if I can pick it up. And we're gonna open the chest once again. I don't really expect to get the PC yet, because after these 25 keys I'm gonna be at 50 KC. But you can never know, honestly.
anyways as i said did not expect to get it that but it would have been nice and for the loot these 25 keys were 3.3 mil value almost so not that terrible to be honest but uh yeah let's go back to collect 25 more now well that's unexpected but uh, there is a 112 strength and i guess yeah i'm not too far away from 50 million xp on this one as well so probably we'll end up getting it in the meantime while in the meanwhile while i try to get the dragon high set but i guess we'll see well unless some kind of a miracle happens no it did not happen but holy shit you guys i don't usually record the outcomes of the tasks but i just completed actually second does devil task since i started this layer wilderness layer grind and this task yielded me 11 larens keys i've got three superiors and uh yeah eight keys from the regular does devils holy shit that's insane and i guess that's a record to beat and now i just hope that my slayer cape will do the trick and give this task for me back to back because Jesus Christ, that was insane. Well, it happened again. I just got two Laren's keys. That's number 24 and number 25 again. So let's make our way to the Laren's chest and let's hopefully maybe get our first unique because after these keys, I am going to be 75 KC and I believe one piece is one in 83. So technically, we will be on the drop rate almost. Well, the pause did not work last time. So hopefully it goes better this time, no, no one's here already, so let's just drop the manta rays and let's get started. Let's go to the bank and let's see what we actually got. I think the last 25 keys were something like 3.2 mil, but this time around I've got so many dragon door tips, so I think it's gonna be more than that. Yeah, 3.7 mil. Still, like, the loot is just really good from this chest, but I guess the grind continues. Oh my god, that's another Zolcano shard for another fucking bot. Why does this keep happening? It should have been mine, man. But I, oh yeah, anyways, doing some Zolcano because I'm having my morning coffee, coffee. Sorry, And after I'm done, I think I'm gonna attempt to go and do some solo chambers, as I mentioned in the introduction. So, fingers crossed I can actually do it. Hey, and there is raids number nine, chambers number 96. I was <clears throat> actually supposed to solo, but my buddy came online, so I figured I would give duo a priority. So I don't know how many we'll do, but pro oh, an elite clue. Uh, but we will most likely do quite a few, so hopefully we can snack something this time. And that's kill number 97. Four. Snapdragons and Silver Ore. Is this the one? No, it's not. It never is for some reason, but that's skill count number 898. For Dark Relic, that's some XP, I guess, and some dynamite towards the dynamite collection, but what's... how is that 305k? Oh, they actually have some value. I did not know that. And that's 99kc. Next one is gonna be the 100. Let's see what you get for 99. Nothing special. Let's gear up for a new one. 
and that's 100 chambers of Zarek now completed. This would be a solid place or time to show the log, I guess, but uh, <laughs> there's nothing on it, so unfortunately it's not really worth it to show it. But uh, yeah, I wish the raids, chambers of Zarek capes were like the, on the rest of the raids, so if they did, you know, I would be able to claim my first cape, but unfortunately they work differently. I still hope they change that in the future, but if they don't, uh, I guess we'll grind, have to grind them out. And I just saw a dragon impling, so I'ma quickly get that. Well, that was a horrible raid. Managed to die, unfortunately got stacked out by the flame wall and the exploding crystals, but... Oh well, it's not like we're getting any purples! But that's 101 KC for another relic, and yeah, that's fitting, pure essence. 14k, we take those. And that's another white light for kill number 102. But you get my Hogany Planks and Death Runes. 103 KC for... For... Avento and Rune... Rune or base, I almost said. That would have been better than the arrows, but... Still we take those. Jesus Christ, I almost died because I got absolutely destroyed this raid. And unfortunately, of course, we did not even get rewarded for it. We had 34 HP literally left. Not even a prayer or an overload those. But let's see what we can get. Maybe an elite? Yeah, the loot is not terrible to be honest. 300k. But yeah, that's 9 raids in a row now. Lovely. And that's kill number 105, this, this time with a four-man team, but still 262k, and that's 10 raids now today. Uh, my personal best, obviously. <laughs> Figured I would take a small break and complete the holiday event and before it's gone, because I tend to forget those every year. So there is the Christmas event, and wow, this is a new interface, isn't it? Nutcracker Outfit, Festive Games Crown, Festive Goggles and Jumper Coolest, Santa's List Rewards. Lovely. Uh, the main thing is, did I unlock the sounds? Because that's what I wanted to, to do. Or did I have all the Christmas sounds opened? I guess either way it should be done. I don't know. I guess I will check. But let's see how this looks. Okay, this looks weird. This looks... all the bags that they make or sacks, they usually look good, so can't really complain about that. Okay, thing like this doesn't look too bad either. Oh, I love the Santa crown, man. Oh, this, this one looks really good, actually. What is that? Okay, the crown looks way better, but uh, yeah, I guess these are the boots and the staff to match the outfit, but uh, yeah, I guess that's the Christmas event completed. Moving on. Um, okay, I was not expecting that, but I kind of felt like I want to try and do the remaining quests from the list, so I get my quest key back. Uh, yeah, this is the Garden of Death, and this was just, like, figuring out some words and typing them out, I guess. Uh, kind of felt like a pointless quest, but I guess it it's gonna be important or it, le it will lead towards some future quest, because other... Because as a standalone quest, this just felt unnecessary, honestly. Well, I'm not really sure what I was doing with this one, but all I can say is thanks for the rune light plugins, because those will help me towards completing this log, but I'm pretty sure if I skip through this dialogue, yeah, there it is, 6k smithing XP, and that's the sleeping giants done, and I have now the access to this Giants Foundry, I think this minigame is called, and I guess whenever I feel like I can start working on that Giants Foundry log, because I am really, really close to finishing off Castle Wars, and even though this one is as far from AS AFKing as it can be, but I think this will be the next minigame slog that I will be actively working on, so nice. Hey, I'm doing the TOB one now, and I apparently got a... Combat task. <laughs> Elite just to be safe. I don't know which one it is, but I guess it's something to do with Sota Sex. So, Zarpa's next. Maybe we can get some more tests done along the way. And there it is. I think she's dead, right? Or is there something else? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. There we go. 
T-O-B-K-C number one. I mean entry mode number one. I mean shit. Shout out to my buddy right here who offered without any asking for help me with this. Thanks, buddy. And uh, let's see if we can get uh, Wiles of Blood because I do know that you can get that as a reward from the, what is it, uh, entry mode. So fingers crossed the first collection log slot is not happening <laughs> but i i'm anxious to learn this stuff and start doing it you know properly but i guess it'll to it will just take some time but uh yeah because otherwise i would have definitely planked for adzorpus and i definitely probably would have thanked that verse because she probably destroys you normal on a normal mode but uh, not even to mention the hard mode so Anyways, that's, uh, I think I can finish off the quest and get my quest cape now, so that's lovely at least. And there it is, a night at the theater. Two quest points, four antique lamps and 291 quest points as well as all the quests once again completed. I haven't had my quest cape in quite some time actually, um, but let's see what speed do we get from this. Oh, it's actually all trash. Let's just take attack XP, whatever. That's gonna be some free attack XP. There it is, and uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of thinking that maybe I will go ahead and knock for all these four mini quests out just so I have everything completed. Plus, I will need to do into the tombs as well because whenever uh, I think it's it just basically what you started automatically after you enter the tombs of a mascot, and that's. That will need to happen in the future because I do want to complete those elite combat achievement diaries. But anyway, that's it for now. Let's see. Okay, continuing on with the mini quest. As I said, if I take this, I believe this should be it for the enchanted key. Yes, there you go. You find some items, but the key dissolves into your hand. Lovely. So this is the loot in my inventory. Unless, of course, I got... Yeah, I've got some runes, but... It doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, got the zombie head too. What else? It's it's not really worth the price check. But you know what the hell. And apparently you get all these things right here, which are tradable. 30k. Holy shit. So, and since you do get these items, okay. Okay, they, they, they just staves with freaking representative god icons on them but uh, yeah kind of weird that these things are not in the collection log but uh, yeah I guess there is that for the enchanted key mini quest okay so if I'm not mistaken I should bury these bones now and this should complete the goblin land mini quest after you complete the land of the goblins quest I believe yes is it gone yes it is I guess two or more left I'm kind of glad that I did pick up the pages when I was killing Sarachnes because you needed four of each to add to the book and otherwise I would have needed to go and kill the monsters in the dungeon or whatever. But I think after I used this book, this book, is that it? Yes, I've got a lamp of knowledge and yes, the mini quest is done and as you saw right there, I believe one, yeah, every page is worth 1k GP if I show it to Lagosia. And uh, yeah, I think you can disable these. So I think uh, that's what I'm going to do now because it's not really worth my time to pick those up anymore. But let's use the lamp on Slayer because why not? And now only one mini quest remains. And back with actual collection log content. There we go, 800 Zalcano KC, I'm done for now, but that's another small milestone for this boss, and yeah, I guess I can start saying the dry streak now continues on, because I'm definitely dry for two things now, because seed is supposed to be 1 in 800, and I haven't gotten anything from this boss yet. And this time we are doing some video raids, Discord raids, <laughs> if that makes any sense. 106 KC for... Oh my god, it took a picture and I freaked out. Whatever, 106 KC. And that's a 107 KC for Salt Peter. 
Yeah, I am salty. And that's kill number 108. Man, when will this dry streak end? Honestly, 400k loot though, Jesus. I think I that might be one of my best loots I ever got. Oh well. Is this the one? No, it's not. 109 KC for Reynors and Eddie Yor. Well, my buddy told me to hide the chat, but it's not gonna be purple. It never is. 110 KC. Okay, continuing on, I guess. Yeah, I read Leaf and Rune Arrows. Casual. Well, this is completely random, but... I just entered the bank to grab out bars and I realized I now have a white stack of coal. Another item in the bank uh, with the white stack to go alongside the maple logs and tea clocks in this tab specifically, but nice. Thanks, Chambers. Okay, boys, if you asked me when I started recording this episode, what will my first unique log for this episode and my first unique slot since eternal glory was gonna be i was definitely wouldn't have answered castle wars but today before work i finished my last castle wars game actually and i now have 800 castle wars tickets in my inventory which allows me to buy the entirety of castle wars log to finish it and green log it so without any further ado first of all Let's pause for green log in the chat and now we can finish off this episode by actually getting something, something pretty nice but I will have to sell each of the bees back because I am obviously because it obviously costs 800 to get this thing right here that's why it took us so long boys but there it is the kite shield the legs the plate skirt and last one is gonna be the boots right there we go so i now have 800 more tickets again and let's close this interface for some spap in the clan chat of course and a green castle wars log holy shit this is nice castle wars is now green another section of the mini game completed i only have four sections left actually and as you guys saw by when I completed the quest Next one is most likely going to be the Giants Foundry the like from the minigame section at least but yeah, that is 908 unique items in total and that's where I will finish off this episode because it has been quite a lot since I uploaded a Collection log video. So hopefully I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to finish this episode before the end of the year but i was able to so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have a lovely new year and i will see you with more collection log stuff stuff in 2023 peace